Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video. So this one was actually requested by one of you. The question was, what are my top picks for makeup for the hot weather? And I thought this was genius. And by the way, it's really, really appropriate right now because it is so freaking hot. <laughs> my hair has gone bonkers. It is really hot here in Dublin, which is great, but it's the perfect for this kind of video. So at any time of the year, I am a less is more kind of gal. I do not like heavy makeup. And I don't wear makeup every day, but when I do, I definitely want it to be on the barely there side. So if you're really into full coverage makeup, this probably isn't going to be the video for you. So when it comes to the summer months, you really want a makeup that's going to stay put, that isn't going to be heavy and isn't going to be greasy as you start to sweat a little bit. Plus, I'm looking for things that don't require a setting powder. So that's kind of the criteria for my selection. Okay. So these are my top five foundations or makeups for the hot summer months. First up is just a holy grail product of mine. It is by Trini London. It is called the BFF Cream Skin Perfector SPF 30. Now this is somewhere in between a skincare and a makeup. This is not going to be a high color payoff at all. I call it my skin blurrer. This is what I'll wear on the days that I don't wanna wear makeup, but I just need a little something nicer. This does have some good skin loving ingredients like glycerin, sodium hyaluronate, as well as antioxidants. So there's a little bit of protection in there too. Now, it does say it's an SPF 30. Don't do that, don't rely on that. I would never rely on any kind of makeup product for SPF protection. I think it might turn you off if you try to use it as that. So in fact, I was chatting with my friend Claudia over at Claudia Glows this week, and she said that she bought it on my recommendation and she hated it because she was putting enough on to give her SPF protection. And if you do that, you're gonna hate it too. It's just not what it's for. So I only use a couple of pumps, two or three pumps, and I put it all over the face. It starts on white and then it just kind of absorbs into the skin and it's really forgiving from a color perspective. I think it's quite flexible. So for me, once this is all rubbed into my skin, it's just a little bit of a glow and just a tiniest little bit of cover. So it just makes, it just kind of balances everything out and it smells amazing. This comes in five colors. I have it in medium and I think it retails for about 35 pounds. Plus I just found out today when I was checking out their site that they have launched a US site as well as an Australian. So it's no longer just for people in the UK. So the Americans can go and give it a try now. This is an all time favorite product. I've probably repurchased it eight or nine times and I automatically repurchase it when it gets low, which is actually starting to do now. So reorder will be coming soon. Okay, number two on my list is by Rose Inc. And in fact, I did a video about this sort of in a competition with the Chanel product that's very similar. And I will put a link to that down below if you wanna check it out. This is a lovely product that I actually think is more skincare than anything. It has a nice kind of a serum-y feel to it. It has these little micro encapsulated pigments that burst when you touch it. And it also activates some of the ingredients. This is a very subtle, color shift. Again, it's one of these products that just gives a little bit of a blur to the skin. I do find it really hydrating, but it just disappears. It just disappears so beautifully. Some of the good ingredients it has, peptides, hyaluronic acids, squalene, so it's actually quite nourishing for the skin, but it's not heavy and it's not gonna sit on top of your skin and it's not gonna make your skin feel greasy. I really like this when I'm on my beach holidays. In fact, I'm in Spain or somewhere where you're going out in the evenings and you don't wanna put makeup on, but you just wanna look a bit better. This is what I reach for. So I got mine in the shade 90, which is a medium deep and it's really only going to be good when I've had a lot more sun which we don't have here it's only just come out in Ireland so I'm not really carrying any summer color yet so I probably need to get a 60 which is a medium but you can see I have used the bulk of this up I will finish it up and I will buy another one it's just a lovely product that gives a soft little balance to the skin. It just evens things out a little bit. It comes in 14 shades and it retails for $49. Okay, next up is a drugstore find. And it was actually one of you guys that had suggested this to me when I was talking about makeups in the summertime. In fact, somebody who lives in Florida who said you needed something that was gonna work for those really hot summer days. And if you've never been to Florida in the summer, it is hot. I mean, that's where I grew up. So stuff does not stay on your face. This one is perfect. This is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Makeup Balm. What I love so much about this is it's kind of creamy, but it really just kind of disappears on the skin, but it gives a little bit more coverage. It packs more of a punch. You can actually cover up a fair amount of redness with this product. Now it is quite silky and quite creamy, um, but when you put it on, and I usually put it on by dabbing it on my face and poof, the color is just gone. So I mostly just apply this to the center of my face because that's where I keep my redness all around the nose. I have a bit of redness in the chin. So I don't even go to the outsides of the face at all and it's just the perfect amount. Now I had to buy it in two colors because the first color I bought was three and it was 
just too dark. Like at my darkest points in the summer, I can wear it without too much trouble. So then I bought two and two is just a little bit too light. So now I just blend them together. So literally I stick my finger in one, stick it in another and I put it on my skin. And that's all I have to do. And these things are gonna last me forever. They're glass packaging, so they're easy to travel with. And in fact, when I go to Florida to see my mom, this is the makeup I take because it gives me just the right amount of coverage and you don't feel a thing. Okay, next up is my foundation by Laura Geller New York. This is called the Balance and Brighten Color Correcting Foundation. This, my friends, is a powder foundation, but it's a powder foundation that doesn't act like a powder foundation because when you get to be my age, a lot of times those don't work anymore. I love a powder foundation, but I did have to abandon it about a good decade ago just because mature skin doesn't always play well with it. It can settle into your fine lines and wrinkles, but this was a real game changer. I discovered it about two years ago. And it's cool because while it goes on like a foundation, it sort of settles in more like a cream. It's kind of hard to explain. Very, very easy to use. And it actually just gives a flawless finish. In fact, it is what I'm wearing today. So sometimes that powder foundation can kind of help to mattify a little bit. This is not a matte finish. I could not stand a matte finish. And in fact, I think it has like a little bit of a luminosity, which I can't figure out how a powder foundation delivers that. Like, I don't really get it, but I think it's beautiful and I absolutely love it. So this is a really good makeup for people with mature skin, people who get hot flashes. It somehow just seems to keep everything contained. So if you like to use a finishing powder or a setting powder on top of stuff, this kind of negates the need for that. I think it's just beautiful. Now, this is buildable. If you want more coverage, you can get more coverage. In fact, I had to learn to be careful with it because sometimes when you're putting it on, you don't really notice that it's supplying the color. And one day I was on my way to work and I checked my makeup in the mirror and went, oh my gosh, I put too much makeup on. Like it's that nice that you just don't even see it. So just be careful with it and just use a lot of blending. So I did do a video showing the makeup application. If you want to see it, I'll put that down below as well. So this retails for $30 and it comes in nine shades, nine very forgiving shades. I think if you don't get an exact match, I think it kind of just blends in a bit with the skin. I use a medium. I probably could stand to have one slightly darker for the summer, but if I get more of a tan, then I just top it up with a bit of bronzer. I do have a discount code if you want to check this out. So Mary 25 will get you 25% off. In fact, I need to place an order and we'll be using it myself. And the last one on the list is another one by L'Oreal and it was sort of the drugstore find and my favorite foundation this year so far. This is the True Match Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. And this is just, it is just perfection in a little $16 bottle. <laughs> I find that even on the days that I'm not wearing makeup, look, and there are a lot of days, half the days I don't wear makeup, I might just put a tiny bit on because it just makes everything better. Um, I can just put a little bit right here and it's like all my redness disappears. You don't even notice it's there. It is super lightweight and I have definitely worn this more than any other foundation. Now I have to say, I did a video about this a couple of months ago and I hated the format of the bottle. It came with a dropper. So in the end, I went to Amazon and I bought a little pump. I think it cost me about $4 and I used that instead. Now, I think they reformulated the packaging now so maybe it comes in a pump. But if you don't have this foundation, and I swear you're over the age of 30, <laughs> you need to check it out because it is so good. Now, there's one last thing I'm going to mention, but I can't really talk a whole lot about it because I haven't used it yet. And it's been sitting in my drawer for a year. I bought it a year ago, and I suspect this is going to be perfect for the summer months. It is called Saint. It is a makeup line by Saint. Now, they very much have this French approach where use as little makeup as humanly possible so that your skin shows through, but just use it more of a correcting sort of thing, like particularly around color correcting. So instead of putting a whole thing of makeup on your face, just, you know, maybe just address a little bit of color correcting on those dark circles or maybe those blemishes. I have had this palette for a year and it's just sitting here. <laughs> I think it's probably time for me to bust it out and use it. So if you have an interest in seeing me trying this for the first time, let me know and I will do a video. Because what's so interesting is that these colors, now a lot of these are eye colors, but these down here are color corrections and specifically for addressing some of the tonal issues, which is mostly what my skin is. It's tonal problems, it's redness, it's a little darkness here and there. And that's what I'm trying to address. So if you have an interest, let me know, put the comments down below. So guys, that is it for today's video. This is the roundup of the makeup that I will be using this summer when I'm in these hotter climates. And I cannot believe that Dublin is one of them right now. It's like 26 degrees, which is crazy hot for us. So much so, I keep needing to take a fan break. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Are any of your favorites in here? Do you have any other favorites I need to know about? Because I am always on the hunt. So if you like the look of this video, please follow my channel and give this video a thumbs up and maybe even share with a friend. So thanks again for joining today and I'll see you at the next video. Bye. Okay, so it is hot. Okay, okay, let's see if I can get this going.